Hi everyone, it's Dixon here and in this video I want to take a look at the display for the iPad Pro 12.9 inch with that liquid retina XDR screen. In simple terms, that's mini LED. So there have been some reports around online where people have been complaining about what's called blooming. And this is essentially where parts of the screen are lighting up when they shouldn't be. So for example, lighting up a bit white when it should be a dark black color. So what I want to do is share my experiences with you. So I've had this for a couple of weeks now, but I want to show you what it looks like in different light settings. So when it's regular daytime lighting and in the evening and just get you to actually see what the screen looks like live on camera so that you can make up your own mind. For those of you who are new to my channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos. Otherwise, let's take a look. So one of the first tests which I want to do is actually just to go straight into the notes app because this is where we have a nice dark background to be able to pick up any blooming quite simply here. And my current setup, of course, is very bright. So I've got a big LED softbox light over in the corner of the room and another one just behind me as well. And I'm just going to leave the screen brightness as it is kind of regular usage. I can now type in. All right, so I can say tech and you should see it is a beautiful contrast and I doubt you can see any blooming at this point. So now what I'm going to do is just quickly swipe down in the corner and increase the brightness all the way to the very maximum and again have a look and see what you think. So what you can see is there's barely anything you'll be able to notice. I personally can't notice anything looking at it right now perhaps if I've got so close that my eyes actually hurt and again this is putting it up at the full brightness. So this was very bright lighting. So what I'm going to do is actually turn off both my softbox, which is just over in this direction, and also my LED ring light, which is just kind of to my left right now. So I'll just quickly edit it with those lights off, and then I'm going to leave the brightness at 100% and see what we think. So you'll see that it's adjusted the brightness according to what normal usage would be. You can see that meter going, I haven't touched it. That's what it suggests for regular viewing. And this is what you'd be presented with regularly when you're taking a look at it. So if I actually go ahead while we're in this dim lighting setup and go back to 100% and go back here, take a look close up, see what you think. But again, I can't notice anything in this lighting. So it's not exactly pitch black in here, but it is quite dark and I would never have the screen this bright. So if I go quickly back to my menu here, you'll see it's incredibly bright, not how I'd normally have it. I'll probably have it more around something like this just because you don't want to hurt your eyes and that all looks very slick. So in this next little test, what I've done is on my camera settings, I've tried to set what's called the ISO um, as accurately as possible to kind of get a similar look to how my own eyes are actually seeing the brightness in this room. And then it gives you a realistic idea of just what the blooming looks like. So I've left this on auto brightness on this note. And when I get closer up, you may notice perhaps a tiny little bit on this auto brightness, if anything. Again, I don't really see anything right this second. And now what I'm going to do is just come back over and I'm going to increase the brightness to 100%. You'll see how bright this is even here. And now it's at this setting is where you'll notice the blooming effects much more. So it might be ever so slightly exaggerated because it's coming through this camera, but you can of course see it on the smaller text here. So a glow effect and on the actual bloom text, which I did handwritten across the screen and then I'll just come across to the top right corner. So again, you'll see a little bit of blooming around there. So this is at 100% brightness. And again, I'm trying to have the settings as realistic as possible so that we can see more or less how my own eyes are seeing the light in this room. And I'll say a comfortable brightness, which is what I want to use, is probably more around here. So it's still relatively bright and this is what it would look like. So. As you will see, for normal use, I'd say that's absolutely fine. Can't actually make anything out. And I'll go back to the home menu just so you can see it's still pretty bright. Um, so I could actually take it a bit dimmer 
to make it more manageable in a dimmer setting. So I'd say that's still brighter than what I'd normally have and it still looks good. I don't have any concerns about what I can see up on my screen right now. Let me know in the comments what you think, but I think personally that's absolutely fine, no issues whatsoever. So after taking a look at different light settings and how that screen performs on the iPad, I'm hoping you get to see that actually for many user cases, I don't think you're going to notice any blooming or anything like that. It's only really when you're in a very dark setting and you've got the screen brightness really cramped up to the highest setting that you're going to start to see things. And that's when you're looking at a black background with white text, so perhaps when you're reading a book on your Kindle app, for example. Typically though, when it is in the evening, you're going to have the screen brightness much lower. And while you may notice it a tiny bit, I just really don't think it's enough for anyone to be concerned with. And actually I think it's a bit of a shame because for many people they'll probably look at some videos or photos circulating online and say that the screen is awful, when in fact it does look fantastic. The colors, the contrast ratio, it really is fantastic. And I've loved using this for viewing different movies and TV shows like on Disney+. Plus. So in my opinion, I think it's absolutely fine. And actually I'd say it's better than fine. I think the screen is brilliant. So I hope you found all of that footage helpful and if you have any questions or want me to do any more testing or anything, please add those in the comments down below. I'm happy to answer them. Otherwise, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.